Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Carbs and Farm Simulation for the Nation here on the Clarkson Farm Challenge in November. And we have been busy. It took us hours. We've lost pretty much a whole day in game to get field number 30 completed. We started that in the live stream just the other day. But uh, yeah, we've been able to get some bits and pieces done. Uh, we we got that contract finished. We finished it and took all the money. And then we, as you can see, we're back on the foreground. We've spent some money. Uh, so that's quite interesting, actually. What we'll be able to do is show you what we spend that on tomorrow uh, when we get nice and light again. Uh, but yeah, it's all part of the next phase of the challenge, which is all about shopping uh, as part of the uh, third episode in the series of Clarkson's Farm. Uh, for those of you who didn't see the live stream there, what we're doing is we are following the episode guide. Now, uh, every month in game, we'll do one of the follow follow the storyline in one of the episodes. Now, obviously, in August when we first started, it was, it was only a one day month, so that didn't really count. So we started in September there, uh, where we were doing some tractoring, and then we did some sheeping uh, in uh, October, and now we're shopping in. Uh, November. Now, what we'll do is every time we, uh, every time we get to a new uh, a, a redo, really. So next time we get into uh, the shopping challenge, we we'll have to make it a bit more adventurous, a bit more dramatic there. So that's what we'll do. But for now, uh, we are just closing up. We've got about uh, eight and a half thousand liters of soybeans. We're just going to sell this straight off so we can get a little bit more money in the bank. I've got another contract started. It is a cultivation contract. We'll look into that in the daylight tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, right now what we're going to do is take this down and sell it off. I can't count how many loads I've taken down here. It must be at least 30, I think, for uh, this challenge, for this contract. Absolutely brutal. But it's done. It was a bigger field. We released the combine to do it, but it's all done and dusted. So I'm very happy about that. And we'll just sell this off here and then be done with it. We could keep it. We've got about 40,000 liters in our own silo at the moment. And to be honest there, uh, the price is going up and we just need money. So we'll take it. We'll take exactly what they'll give us and then we can worry about uh, some more in the future. But yeah, we've uh, in the live stream there, we bought the first part of our shopping challenge. And the second part is waiting for us at the store. In the daylight tomorrow, what we'll likely be looking to do is... Well, there you go. That's five and a half grand. Uh, in the daylight tomorrow there, we will be probably doing a bit of... We've got a bit of cultivation to do and that'll be carting some silage bales, I think. Should be good. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to go and take ourselves back up to the house, really, uh, where we can skip through the evening, uh, sleep off the rest of the night, and then we'll get back to it tomorrow. But yeah, it's uh, it's a dark and gloomy night here, as you'd expect in November. So we'll see what uh, the last day of November brings tomorrow morning. All right, so you join us here in the morning. The sun's just about to come up. And uh, we're looking good. It looks like we got all that done in time because the rain is coming today. Uh, washed the tractor off last night as well. Got that all parked out of the way. Uh, well, I say out of the way. It's off to the side. And we need to get a little bit of work done to the tractor today. Uh, we'll probably shut that for now. And we'll shut this for now. And this one as well. But... Uh, for those of you who missed the live stream there, we did pick up this cultivator. It was used, but it was about 12 grand or something crazy. So we couldn't really say no. A little bit wider than what we had as well, but folds up inside three meters. So get parks up in here nicely. Uh, we do need to start getting that, those bales of hay brought in. They're going to get stacked into here. So we'll uh, we'll start to fill this shed up just a little bit more. Uh, but we're getting there. We are getting there. We're getting our own little setup. Uh, what I'm going to look at today to see is if there's any contracts that are worthy of us taking uh cultivation and plowing see field 30 is the field that we just did that will take forever to cultivate um not really too keen on doing that right now even if it is worth a whopping 25 grand and these plowing jobs as well we don't own a big enough plow we don't we don't own any plow at the moment but we don't own a big enough one but we do have field 20 which is this one here so that's not too crazily big so we'll, we'll tackle that one i'm feeling pretty confident about that uh, but as it's getting light, we're going to park this trailer up and then we're going to, well, I'm going to show you what the next, uh, next purchase is for us, really. And this was something, again, it was something that we didn't need. It was something that we, uh, didn't really contemplate getting and it may cause us to have to buy something else in the future, uh, because this John Deere is going to struggle to pull it. However, it was 
big shiny powerful and uh on the sale as well and all these things really are, is something that the clarkson farm challenge takes into consideration you know it is the fact that we bought it that ideally maybe we we wouldn't need to buy it but because we have we need to make it work and we need to first of all uh we had to use all that money that we'd um, worked hard to get and second of all you know we might end up having to buy something else because like i say it just doesn't quite fit our tractor but i'll show you what that is in a very few minutes now the good news is that we have a lot of silage bales kicking around here some of which are still to be carted in and we'll get into that one very shortly but that will allow us to um make a little bit of money we want to keep most of our silage bales and then the ones that we do sell i'm going to sell to buy cattle with i think that's my game plan uh, and we'll see from there but yeah that's uh, the next step on the on the cards i would say uh first thing i'll probably do is look to get the hay inside because well that hasn't got any uh cover for itself from the elements we haven't had any rain yet but the rain is coming so we want to get that hay tucked up inside today before that arrives uh and then yeah we will see but we're off down to the store anyway where we will probably get this tractor serviced up actually because as you can see it is well overdue definitely gonna need a bit of that yeah we're really racking up the hours now 18 and a half on this tractor they're coming on in thick and fast there which is always good uh although admittedly the last couple of days it's been on trailer duty for a combine so it hasn't had too much work but uh good lord was that slow going that really really was and we'll find very shortly as well we're going to probably just get to about eight o'clock i think and then it'll be like someone's flicked the lights which here and it'll be nice and light and we'll be able to get cracking along but yeah let us know how your little series and challenges are going yourself there if you've run into any issues or what you're finding challenging uh, and how it's how it's all working along i am going to release a uh, uh like a, a a more transparent set of rules a little bit more clear uh, for anyone to follow along so you'll see we've still got our drill here as well that needs to come home with us soon but we need to find a way in which we can tow it because it's too wide to fill in public roads it's four meters wide and you need to be three and a half meters or less ideally to go onto a road so we need to find a low loader to buy to make that one fit but look at what it's next to this is 65 or 66 thousand pounds worth of pure baling power and you see what i mean by did we need it no we had a baler um was it is it big is it powerful is it shiny yes 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 so it fits the mold now this john deere is super chipped uh it has the ecu mapping in there so it comes in a little bit over uh the 200 horsepower i think it's about 210 215 so it's going to struggle to pull that but it will still pull it uh so that should uh if you have any questions around that i should hopefully answer those uh, yeah we have the ecu mapping on there as well but what we do need to do Ooh. repair it for nine grand nine and i'm never repainting my tractor ever again it seems uh can i afford to do that do i have anything else i can sell yes okay good 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 good, good. uh we have to go to that one then or oh, maybe no okay well we're gonna have to sell like crazy folks uh all right nine grand wow I was not expecting that. But then, if that puts the tractor back into a better state, which it does. I'm not... I mean, the tractor's barely got a fleck of paint missing on it. I'm not paying 20 grand to have it repainted. Not a hope. And then we're down to next to no money. So, we've got that contract, which is about 11 or so. We'll take that one when we can. But for today, we'll just sell a little bit more of our sorghum, which needs to go anyway and then i'm hoping and praying that at some point soon we get some better contracts coming in so fertilizer gigs come back in would be perfect but look at the state of that wowzers okay when we do get to use this it's gonna make this tractor absolutely howl it's gonna sound brilliant all right off we go then ladies and gentlemen we'll take this back to the yard and then we can uh yeah i guess we'll sell put the trailer back on sell some more crop hopefully we'll sell one trailer load it'll give us a bit of a cushion and then we can get some uh, uh get some cultivation work done there 
we need to buy some seeds soon as well and after this recording i am going to rechange the map uh so it has the uk geo on there with the different growth seasons that'll make it a little bit better for us up here please and then we'll be able to really uh really make that one work perfect stuff so like uh, the challenge states uh, that you can only lease one bit of equipment at a time now obviously with 611 pounds we're not gonna be leasing much at all of anything um which is why we've decided with field 23 it's still got a, a tiny well we harvested a tiny bit of sugar beet but i'm not gonna do any more i'm just gonna uh, cultivate that in what's on the deck there now we will sell and uh you know so be it but yeah it is it's just been a bit of a frustration of mine seeing that one so we're probably going to get that one cultivated in after we get that contract done and then we'll look to sell that pile of sugar beet off as soon as we could uh, as soon as we can do that Ooh, let's try that again excellent stuff yeah all of our beans were done they're all in the silo not as many as i thought there was a lot of weeds in there we didn't do anything to the field so the yield is not great but uh you know we'll we'll take it and now what i want to do i think i'm going to stick this into here hopefully i can get it into that shed again but someone Park the bale a trailer in the way, so we'll have to see. What we might just end up doing here actually is this sticking it under the, the usual uh, shed there next to the cultivator for now. And then yeah, we'll worry about this later. It's a beast of a bale though, it's absolutely stunning. I love the modeling on this. Absolutely brilliant. Quite sure how easily it would uh it's gonna go into here hey there you go So let me know if you what you've bought even if you're not doing the challenge what's been the best thing that you've seen on a sale so far that you've just thought you know what i have to have that my luck is seemingly turning around ever so slightly and my fortune is changing with the uh used equipment it's still not as good as it perhaps could be but it is definitely getting better i'm having some real rotten luck with this to begin with now yeah now it seems to be on the up and up a little bit all right stop there gotta get out and do that All right, let's see if the best place to sell this is still farm store bay one. Yes, it is. Which should be still up over here. And it is cool. As I can see, a lot of silage bales stacked up in there. And then even more over near the field there. So it'd be good to get those, uh, to get that cleared off the yard. Get those, uh... You know, I'm hoping to get a fair amount of money for those. This so we can invest into the cattle and get them going properly. I have to look at the best time to sell that silage, actually. It could be soon. Okie dokie, off we go. And I do very much love the uh, early morning and early evening uh, sunrise, sunset. The lighting on, on Carmson specifically is stunning. It looks very, very impressive. Really just make a great change. Now, I think what one of the next episodes in the uh, in the Clarkson Farm series will see us doing something a little bit different with this big field here. I'm not going to say too much more about that now, uh, but I have a plan for what that might look like, and it's going to not only improve that field, uh, but also make a little bit of an interesting challenge and episode there as well. So we'll see. That should work out uh, pretty well. But otherwise, 
really we're just going to be making a little bit more money hopefully well we have to make some more money somewhere um and then i think i'm going to look into when we should start selling off all this silage could be fairly shortly actually and then uh, we'll see if we, it's all i imagine it's going to be best time to sell is going to be in the winter so if that is indeed the case we rather than stacking those bales off the uh, field we might as well just put them onto a trailer and take them straight down to the sell point there as well so that would be pretty cool to do I don't like selling silage bills too much because I feel like the prices are always a little bit too unrealistic. But if we're in times like this and challenging situations, I think that's what we have to do. All right, and around the back we come. We'll uh, not tip onto here. Prices isn't quite as good. I believe it's going to be around here and then over here. There you go. All right, okay then. So with that, we're gonna sell this load off. The tractor's looking a lot cleaner. Ah, so there's some paint missing. Under normal conditions, that it does look a little bit worse wear, but not 20 grand, good heavens. All right, we've got a little bit more breathing space there. So it'll be enough for us to figure out what to do today. Six and a half grand, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, grass, grass, grass. We've got... Hey, there you go. Uh, grass silage. Doo, doo, doo. Ooh, we're nearly at a good time to sell there. Actually, we're in November, so definitely very shortly. Uh, and then bale sell point is looking pretty darn good. So what we might end up doing is just taking the load to there, actually. I think that'll be a good plan. Get a bit more money coming in, get ourselves stable, and then we'll take a few contracts on as well. Need some gears here, Sim. Perfect. So we'll get on with that. Now, you may well find that you will be bringing you along for a ride on the stream later on in this week. Uh, and we'll see how that looks. But until that time, thank you ever so much for watching, as always. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new as well. Lots coming from Calms and Farm and many more different maps and challenges coming along the way. So I hope you have enjoyed. Until next time, though, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing, as always. And we will see you in the next one. Catch you later.